What is that? What is that? I'm trying to draw it like I'm like I have a freaking pomade on. <laughs> what is that? Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, I am so excited because I am teaming up with my amazing friend Paige Corn. I'm sure you guys have heard of her <laughs> and we are teaming up today to pretty much essentially pick each other's entire makeup routine. I picked out every single product that Paige has to use and the style that she has to use it in and she did the same for me. So you guys wanna see what she picked for me, what type of makeup look I have to create. Well then definitely keep on watching. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Paige and I have been friends for years and it's always so much fun to get together and collab on a video together. And we thought it'd be so fun to pick each other's makeup routine. It started off with just like being on phone, it started off being on the phone and saying, okay, use this, you this, you this. But then like it kind of like started to evolve a little bit more into like, I'm gonna be pretty much essentially doing Paige's makeup routine and she's gonna be doing mine. So not only am I gonna be using the products she told me that I have to use, but I'm gonna be using them in the way that she told me I have to use them. So she picked out all the eyeshadow that I have to wear, like to the exact color, the way I do my brows, the way I do my lips. Like she picked out my entire makeup routine and it's essentially, I wanna say like controlling it, but like that's not the right word cause like obviously I'm volunteering. <laughs> but she's essentially, but she's essentially having me do her exact makeup routine but the catch is she has to do mine. You guys know I do slightly overline my lips. I do bright, bold, beautiful colors. I wear long lashes and guess who has to do all that? That's right. So you guys wanna see Paige's video and what I picked for her, then make sure you guys click on the link down below. I'll have it listed. So with that said, I'm so excited. We're gonna go ahead and zoom on in because I'm so curious to see how this makeup look is gonna turn out. I have a feeling like this is like Paige's like go-to makeup routine and she's gonna essentially be doing mine. <laughs> so let's go and get you guys zoomed so on I in. I have my notepad right here and I literally have a list of everything that I have to wear and exactly how I have to wear it. So like, I'm really excited. I feel like this is gonna be like a really fun video and it's kind of a way for me to like branch out of my own routine and kind of see how to do things. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with our brows because that is my first step in my actual routine. Paige, she said I can kind of do it whenever, but Paige limited me. So typically for my routine, I use a brow pomade and then I, you know, cut my crease, then I cut out my brows and I use clear brow gel. Today, I only get to use a brow pencil and clear brow gel. That's it. That's all I get to do and I'm just like, Page. <laughs> so we're gonna see how I like this. It's been a minute since I've done this. Also, my brows are atrocious because they need to get waxed. And by the way, um, happy Valentine's Day. I actually am pre-filming this, so by the time you guys see this, it's Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to everyone who celebrates. I don't really celebrate, but like I do in a sense where like I still get my husband like cheesy chocolate because like it's still fun to do it with each other but like we're not doing anything really like special except we are gonna go out to eat tomorrow night since he does work on Tuesday, which I'm excited about. But I think I'm more excited just about getting food and spending time together. <laughs> but I'm excited. But for those who do celebrate, happy early Valentine's Day or happy Valentine's Day when you see this. I have got to pluck this one brow hair. It is driving me crazy. It's like sticking up like right here. Ugh, that was gonna drive me crazy. I have not had my brows wax in such a hot minute. It comes down to just truly me being lazy and like making an appointment and getting my brows waxed. <sighs> but I need to. Okay, so we're brushing the brows and we're gonna go in with the Benefit. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow and Volumizing Pencil. So this is um, how it looks. I am nervous. I'm nervous because I, you know, it's been a minute since I've done my brows like this. And well, you guys can see how hairy they are, so. I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to draw a line. What the heck is that? What is that? What is that? I'm trying to draw it like I'm like I have a freaking pomade on. <laughs> what is that? Oh no, that looks so bad. Ah okay, so scrap that. We'll leave the back how it is. Um, oh, this looks like shit. <laughs> this is, this is, this is going to be more difficult than I thought. Okay. So, um, I am just going to just, I guess, just slightly fill it in this way and just, <sighs> Paige, 
Peach, how do you do your brows? Cause like, I don't mind if it's messy like that because then I'm like, oh, I could just cut the crease. I can't, I can't cut the crease. I can't cut it. Okay, well maybe, maybe I can be a little cheeky and like when I go to do the eyes, I can try to cut the crease. I don't know. Okay, let me see if I can get this one to be better. I hate my brows. I absolutely hate my brows. It is, it is not for me. Okay, so for eyes and bless Paige's heart, I get to use the Nude Prism palette right here. She is so sweet, which by the way, you guys can use code Allie to save you guys 10% off when shopping anything at Leonard Beauty. And she's so sweet. I get to use this today, which I'm really looking forward to. And when it comes to, like the eye base, she said that I can kind of like use whatever. So that's what we're gonna do. If you guys hear lawn mowers in the background, I'm filming this early Sunday morning and for some reason lawn people are here and I don't understand why they're freaking here because it's Sunday and yet somehow they're here. Normally they're here on Tuesdays. I don't know why they're here today. Okay, so for eyes, I have to use the shade Cherry Blossom. I have to use this shade all over the crease. So because if this is a collab with Paige, I'm actually gonna use her brushes today. I'm gonna use, let's see, what do I want to use? Okay, let's use these. I'm gonna take um, the new Page Corn. This is the E41 brush. This is her newest collaboration with Bling Brushes. You guys can use code Allie, save you guys 10% off of this, or you guys can use code Page however you guys want to. But I'm gonna take the shade called Cherry Blossom and we're gonna put this all in our crease shade because this is how Paige told me I have to do my routine. So we're gonna take this and we're just going to put this across our crease very lightly and this is like a really soft beautiful brush to do this with by the way oh my god my brows my brows are like <laughs> driving me crazy <laughs> like i don't like my brows i'm very curious to see how Paige is going to like what i pick for her because i picked a very colorful eyeshadow palette a very colorful way to do like her eyes like her and i do completely opposite when it comes to eyes she loves more of like an everyday neutral eye look with some pops of colors like she does some pops of color but like i do like a lot of my reviews like very bold bright colors so i'm like really curious to see like how she's gonna do her makeup i'm so excited and to like to see lashes because she doesn't really wear lashes anymore so i'm curious to see like what lashes she does and like her lips i really want to see how she does her lips now i will say she was kind she didn't ask me to do any sort of liquid liner and i think it has to do with the mere fact that i don't have any liquid liners i feel like that was my saving grace okay so now that we have that we have to take the shade called milk tea and put it on our outer edge it's gonna be this beautiful shade right here so we gotta put that on our outer edge i'm gonna take the i'm gonna take the brush e44 to do that so this would be i don't like using outer edge outer crease the v of our eye we're gonna take that and we're gonna start to just stamp this right here very lightly i'm just gonna start to stamp that in like this would be such a beautiful pretty look that takes like little to no effort to do which i'm kind of excited about <laughs> she i feel like she gave me something easy and i gave her something hard oh no <laughs> but it kind of makes makes make sense though because like that's how i do my makeup when i do really fun colorful looks so this is how she does her makeup, just like as an everyday makeup look, which I'm actually kind of excited to try out and see how I like it. I think these are so light and pigment. Okay, so then I gotta take the Sam, the shade Sam, and I gotta put that all over my lid. So we're gonna take this and put this all over our lid. I'm gonna kind of like blend everything together. So I'm just gonna start to, ooh, that is so pretty. I love this palette. This is my favorite palette from Lunar Beauty. It is just, God, it's just so gorgeous. And it's so weird for me saying that too, because I do, love very colorful palettes, but there's something about this palette that I just think is absolutely gorgeous and can be worn like every single day. Okay, so here's the look right here. I feel like this is like really easy. I feel like this is really beautiful, like every day wearing like eye looks. I can see why Paige loves it because it just is so effortless, but so beautiful at the same time. So for primer, oh, Paige got me for primer. So for primer, I have to use the NYX Marshmallow Primer, but 
I have to wear it with the Over Cosmetics Liquid Highlighter in the shade Monroe. I have to like mix these two together. <sighs> she gave me a glowy base. Y'all know I don't do a glowy base like this. So I'm very interested to see how this is going to work out. And if you guys wanted to, I do have a code with Ofra. It's code Ally, which will save you guys 20% off in shopping at Ofra. So uh, if you guys want to get anything I'm using, I'll link everything down below. But we're going to take a couple pumps of the marshmallow. Okay, here's the marshmallow primer. And we're gonna mix it with the Ofra high, like liquid highlighter. Oh, oh yay! Mix these two together. I hope I like am mixing it right because this is like a highlighter, but. It's also like a really pretty highlighter, by the way. It's a really beautiful liquid highlighter. Okay, so I have to pull my mirror kind of close, but like maybe it's hard to tell because of the fact that it's like mixed in with a primer. My God, my face is shiny. Like, do you guys see my face? It It's shiny, like it's glowy. <laughs> Paige, is this what you do? Cause I could never like, oh my gosh, it's, shiny oh my gosh <laughs> okay so for foundation we're gonna mix the okay so for, for okay so for foundation she wanted me to use the Ofra absolute cover foundation so I'm gonna use these two foundations today this is a shade one and shade two I have to use both to get them mixed and she said that's fine for me to mix these two together so that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna take a pump of the number shade number one and a pump of shade number two and we are going to create this beautiful foundation I'm very curious to see how well this is going to work because I feel like this is gonna make me like so freaking glowy. I mean, like look at my face, y'all. <laughs> oh boy, Paige. Oh. I, I, I'm still shiny. I'm still shiny right now. This is a, this is a moment for me. Okay, so this is how we're looking right now. I am still pretty glowy. Like I'm pretty glowy right now, which is very in interesting because as a really oily person, this is like <laughs> breaking me out. That's the tax. I'm just like, <laughs> I know that this will not last. Like this is not gonna last me. I give it an hour before you'd be like, oh my God, I could fry a freaking egg on your face. I'd be like, I know. Like that's how bad this is gonna be. I could just, I could just tell already. <laughs> okay, so for concealer, she wants me to use the Rare Beauty Concealer. So this is the concealer in the shade 130N. I haven't used this in a long time. I remember I kept it from my declutters because I specifically said I wanted to give this another chance. So Paige is giving us that chance to try this out again. Where's my mirror? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try this out again. I don't know what my thoughts are on this. Wow. Oh, wow, okay. So we're just gonna take this and we're going to just place this right here. That's a pretty thick concealer. Not gonna lie, I don't really like the, the applicator on this. I don't really like how that is, but we are gonna make the best of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start to blend this in. This is a very brightening concealer, that, or just, it's just really light for this foundation look. But I'm gonna try to blend it out as best as possible. You know, I will say, I actually don't hate the concealer. Uh, I think it's actually pretty nice. I'm gonna have to try this concealer like on its own, separate from this like video so I can like try it out again. But I actually don't hate it at all. It's actually kind of nice. So for setting powder, Paige wants me to use the La Mer setting powder. I absolutely love the setting powder. So I'm going to use it sparingly because this is a really expensive setting powder and I definitely will, will stock up on it again when they do the Sephora VIP sale because like I, I think it's worth it. I think it's so freaking pretty. So powder puff and we're just going to start to just stamp this in i just i don't know there's something about the setting powder that i just think is so freaking good okay that is starting to mattify down my skin just a little bit okay so this is where we are right now i freaking love the setting powder see look i was so oily and i feel like this is helping me out just a little bit to not be so like greasy looking it's definitely like mattifying down the skin even though it's weird because I could still see like some glowy aspect to it. I don't know. It's like the oddest thing for me to like see. Like, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> so for bronzer, she wants me to use the Revlon Skin Lights right here. This is in the shade um, 110 Sunlit Glow. I actually think this is really good bronzer. So I'm excited to give this one a try. 
I love that she kind of goes for like, I feel like the more clean girl makeup look. Is that what, that's what it's called? Clean girl makeup. I feel like that's what Paige kind of goes for. So we're going to take this on my favorite, favorite bronzer brush. This is the Lunar Beauty. It's like the two in one. I can't get enough of this brush. I just think it's so freaking good. And we're going to start to brush this on. Oh my God. I was like, what is that amazing smell? It's perfume. It's perfume. I forgot that on last week I went out to Disney to go surprise Corey. I went and had lunch at work at my old job actually. And, uh, I sprayed on perfume and I forgot that I'm seeing glitter right here. Why am I seeing glitter? Um, I forgot that I didn't powder my face. So I sprayed on perfume and I like powdered my face and I sprayed perfume like on my chest and like my neck area. Cause I like to do and I rubbed powder on my neck and I got perfume <laughs> on my brushes. And honestly, I don't hate it though. Cause it smells so freaking good. It smells like perfume. Um, and I am obsessed with the perfume. I'm actually been obsessed with lately. My mom got it for me. It is the, um, it's from Lacombe, Lacombe Idol, Lacombe Idol. This is the perfume right here. It smells absolutely incredible. I'm obsessed with it. And I only wear it on special occasions. Otherwise I wear my Mark, J Mark Jacob Daisy's perfume or my Victor and Roth flower bomb that Ashley got me because that is just my absolute favorite perfume, but it's also like expensive. So I don't wear that one all the time either. I feel like my everyday one is Mark Jacobs because I can find that at TJ Maxx, but then like the Victor and Roth flower bomb. And this one is like my special like date occasions when I really want to smell extra good. So here we are with this. I I'm seeing gl glitter i'm seeing glitter i don't know where this glitter is it's come it's on my freaking forehead where is it from does this have glitter in it no way <gasps> this has glitter in it i didn't know that oh no oh no oh i'm gonna make myself extra shiny <laughs> okay so I'm gonna quickly do my brows once more. So I'm just gonna um, kind of just brush my brows through. This is not horrible on the brows, but like, I, I I hate it. Like, look at that. Like, what is that? But we're just gonna go in. I'm allowed to use clear brow gel. So I'm just gonna use the Wonder Beauty clear brow gel because I really like this one. I also really like the Benefit one. It's just this one is the first one I grabbed. So we're just gonna go in with this and just kind of just set the brows and kind of just let them be what they're gonna be. So for blush, I get to use the Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is the blush aesthetics right here. And I'm excited because she told me to pick two, she picked two shades for me. So she picked the shade called um, Peach Fuzz right here and the Chateau Rose. I have to mix these two blushes together. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take my brush. This is my brush. I love I love this brush. And we're gonna tap it into the Chateau Rose, Peach Fuzz, kind of mix these two together. And we're gonna lay it down right here. Like on the peachy side right there. So to finish off the eyes, she told me to use the shade called cherry blossom for underneath so we're going to underline our waterline with the shade cherry blossom so pretty much like what we did up the very top for our transition we're going to use that for our under eyes today we're going to use this one and i'm actually going in with Paige's first brush shot right here this is the um, brush e25 and i'm just going to place this just along the waterline Honestly, though, I feel like this is the type of shade that is good for like transition, but I feel like you really just don't see much of it. Like it's like so light. It's such a light color. I would never typically use this color for underneath the waterline. I use it as like a blending shade. I use this to like, not necessarily put in my transition, but just to blend it out. If I had like a darker shade and I wanted something to be a little bit lighter, this is the shade that I would go for it. So for mascara, she told me that I can use the Thrive Mascara right here. So we're gonna use that. I just wanna curl my lashes first. And then we're gonna use only the Thrive Mascara. And this is what's killing me. I'm not allowed to use eyeliner. I always do eyeliner. I never not do eyeliner. So this is very trippy for me to not use any sort of eyeliner at all because I've only ever used eyeliner when I do eye looks. 
So this is gonna be definitely a moment for me to just use that. I love Thrive, don't get me wrong, but because it's so wet, I, I usually like to mix this um, mascara with the Benefit Roller Lash. But since I'm not allowed to, I'm just taking this spoolie brush and I'm going through the lashes to help to separate them. See, that's the only problem with that. I love this mascara, but the only problem is that it's so wet sometimes that I could just do that. Okay, I love this mascara, but it's horrible for the under eyes because it is so freaking wet and it de definitely does transfer. It's why I like to mix this mascara with my Benefit Roller Lash or with Ofra it's because of how wet this mascara is. It just, oh, I, this is like, I am like itching so hard to go and grab my roller lash to separate these lashes, but I can't. So I'm just having to just use this highlighter. She wants me to use um, the shade, the, she wants me to use the Ofra highlighter. This is the Hills highlight. Freaking love this highlight so much. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna highlight the face with this. And then she also wants me to use this for my inner corner and brow bone as well. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna put this right here. I mean, gosh, that is so freaking beautiful. That is such a gorgeous highlight. I use this as the inner corner as well and the, and the brow bone. My lashes, my lashes look like freaking crap. They do not look good, okay. So for lips, um, this is my biggest struggle. I am not allowed to use a, a lip liner. I have been using lip liners for so long now that I don't know what it's like to not use a lip liner. I'm only allowed to use my Alme Go Wild lipstick. Now her favorite, her favorite lipstick is the MAC Cosmetics in the shade Blankety. I don't have that. I went to go find it, but we couldn't find it in time for the video. So we're just going with this instead. And ugh, I hate my lips do that. It's gross. Like, what is that? But I'm not allowed to line my lips and that is like the biggest thing for me is like lining my lips, right? Like I have a very intensive routine where I line, I, I overline my lips. Then I use like two or three different lip colors with a gloss on top, which she has to do by the way, which I'm so excited about. But she's very simple. She just uses a lipstick and she calls it a day. So this is going to be very foreign to me because it's been so long since I've not lined my lips. But we're going to go in with the Alme Go Wild lipstick. You guys know how much I love this lipstick, especially paired with my Maybelline Crystal Gloss and the um, Jaclyn Cosmetics Bourbon Lip Liner. So I wonder if I can like be a little cheeky and just like use this to like set a base. This is just so I know where to fill in. That's a, that's a pretty lip color. It's funny, I like the lipstick, but I like it when it's blended in with the bourbon, the liner, and the Maybelline gloss by itself. She's a little pale she's a little pale now the only thing we did not pick for each other is i don't think we picked a setting spray for each other so i am just going to use um um tarte double duty setting spray to set the face today and then i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna head i'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys out and then i'm gonna tell you guys what i really think about this makeup routine <laughs> right here okay guys so this is the final look so let's talk about it first off my brows i you know it's not the worst thing in the world um it's definitely not something i'm used to i really do like using a pomade for my brows and then filling them in i feel like this is like one of those pencils that i like to use to like draw in fake like eyebrow hairs but like when that's already like cut like when it's already like lined out with the pomade using it on its own definitely is an adjustment for me i could definitely see where this is just not ugh, i don't like it i normally like to cut my creases i normally like to cut out my brow as well and somebody had a chance to do that so i'm definitely not really liking the brows that is just a moment for me and i like how she does it though because obviously it makes it very easy and whatnot but i don't know it's it's not my style so i probably wouldn't do that again um i will say the eye look is really pretty i think Paige created a very beautiful eye look for me this is one of those eye looks that you can wear every single day and it'd be flattering on so many people out there it's so easy and effortless so i really love that she picked that out for me when it comes to like the primer i absolutely love my marshmallow primer you guys know i love this but i like to mix it with different primers because i'm a very oily person very oily skin i also have large pores so i like to cater to both this is not going to do that for me adding the liquid highlighter it is a whole new ball game for me i can literally look at my complexion and it may look nice on camera because I have beauty lights, but in person, I'm not kidding when I say my skin looks like shit. <laughs> it 
looks like shit. I, I don't like it. I just see glitter everywhere. I can see my face glowing and I just see glitter all over the face. And I just know that for me, this is not something I would keep in my routine because I'm very oily. The last thing I would do is add anything luminous underneath my base because it's going to accentuate the oil. Like it's, it's just, it's just not a good time for us. But I do think it's really cool because she's really oily as well, but somehow Paige is able to make it work for her. So like Paige, get it. If it works for you, that's all that matters. When it comes to foundation, I absolutely love the Ofra foundation. I have nothing bad to say about this. Paige picked a good one on that one. The Rare Beauty Concealer, I want to try this again. It's been a long time since I played with it. I really want to try this again on a base that I know I really like because right now my eyes are pretty like wrinkly. Do you guys see that? Like you see it's settling in right there. Either I'm just getting really old and I just need like Botox or it's just settling into the fine lines. I'm trying to rub it out right now. <laughs> wrap it out um but it's just not really good combo right there so i'm gonna have to figure out a way to make that work um the la mer powder i love it i have nothing bad to say about la mer i really do love it but what i didn't know though is i didn't know the skin lights already had some like lumosity to it it had some like glitter in it like a shiny bronzer so already putting on a really bright base this is just going to like accentuate my oil even more I hate how my forehead looks. My forehead is shiny. Like you can even see some of my beauty legs reflecting off that. My forehead is shiny and it's just because of this bronzer alone. So this is a bronzer that I would not honestly probably continue using. This is something I'll probably end up decluttering later on. Knowing that it has glitter in it, I don't like bronzy glitters together because I'm very oily and it is just no, 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 no. Now for the blush, I think Paige picked out such a beautiful blush combo. I actually want to try this combo again, but on my routine, I think the Peach Fuzz and the Chateau Rose from Laura Lee Los Angeles Blush Aesthetic Palette is such a pretty combo. I can definitely see why Paige picks it. It's very, very gorgeous, very peachy, and I know Paige loves the color peach, so I actually really like that. I like how she paired it with the Ofra Cosmetics Hills Highlighter. She did so good on that. Now, when it comes to the um, the mascara, I love Thrive Mascara, but I don't like what's happening here. I know when I work with Thrive, it's a very, very wet mascara. So typically I pair this with other mascaras that I know it's gonna pair well with, like my Benefit Roller Lash, my Benefit The Real Magnet Mascara, the Ofra Cosmetics HD Volumizing Mascara, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, the L'Oreal, or the Maybelline Big Colossal Mascara. I, I'm a big ma mascara person. I love mascara. So I always like to mix and match my mascaras to get it to work for me. This is something that I would not just wear by itself because it's so wet. So it's going to cause the lashes to kind of clump together and it's going to spread and it's going to make me make my lashes kind of weigh itself down like it's doing right now. So I would never have worn this by itself and I absolutely hate how my lashes look right now. I think they look absolutely horrible. The bottom lash, this is not a bottom lash mascara in the slightest. The Benefit Roller Lashes perfect for underneath the, the the bottom lashes the top lash this is just no it's not happening and i just it, it looks like crap i don't like it and then to like not be wearing any eyeliner it's definitely a first for me i love my white liner you guys know i love my white liner it is just like my thing i'm obsessed with it i feel like it really does awaken the eyes and like i you know don't hate it like i kind of don't hate it without like mess without eyeliner it's actually really pretty uh, I'm surprised at how much I kind of like it without that liner, but I probably would want to add liner just to spice it up more. For me personally, I feel like it helps make my eyes pop. So that's something I'm definitely missing. But then the last thing we have is the lips. I love the I'll Make a Wild lipstick, but I love it because it's paired with my Jaclyn Cosmetics Bourbon Liner along with my Maybelline Crystal Gloss. That's why I love this so much. By itself, it's a pretty color, but she's too pale for me. She's too pale for me. She's too nudie. <laughs> I don't know how else to word it. It's too pale. I like my lips to be just a little bit deeper because I like to have a little bit of a deeper lip. I love being able to overline my lips because I think I have tiny lips and I don't think I'll ever get lip filler because I've seen like what lip filler does over time. That's not something I'm really that all about, but I also, but I also do really like overlining my lips. This is a struggle. This is a struggle because yes, I kind of cheated a little bit and like lined my lips as best I could with the lipstick. It's not the same. It's not the same. So I'm looking at my upper lip like, oh dear God, like what is that? Like I just, 
I'm not the biggest fan and because of this is just a lipstick this is very very creamy lipstick this is going to spread and it's going to come off fairly quickly but it is a pretty color when it's mixed but I don't know I'm just not really a fan by itself but overall looking at my entire complexion as a whole i have to say this is a really pretty makeup i think paige did such a wonderful job picking her makeup for me like i following along with paige's makeup routine and her picking it for me she picked something really pretty she picked stuff that like i would not necessarily pair together i i guess i'm a little bit more dramatic with my makeup Paige is all about the simplicity easy going kind of like a five minute makeup routine you can wear this and go out the door and wear it all day like I love Paige's makeup I think she does beautiful makeup looks and it's just so interesting to see me kind of rocking like Paige's style and I'm now I'm really curious to see how she's gonna rock my style because you guys can see this isn't something that I normally do right like I don't really do this and I'm, I'm more dramatic and now I'm really curious to see how hers is gonna be because it's two different makeup looks but I think if you're going to be, I think for like an everyday makeup look, this is a really pretty look. And I think Paige did a good job with this. I would definitely recreate this look, but with my style. So like with my base, my found with my base, the way I do my makeup, the way I do my lips, the way I do my brows, the way I do my mascara, I would definitely, you know, switch it up and flare it up for me. But I think overall, it's a really pretty makeup look. And I think Paige did a good job. So thank you so much, Paige, for making me feel really pretty right now. <laughs> even though, even though I know that in like one hour, my oil is going to be like ha ah, in everybody's face so yeah make sure you guys head over to Paige's video check out all the makeup that I picked up for her I'm so curious to see how she likes the routine or she's like what the heck Allie this is horrible like I'm so curious I will have her video linked down below along with her channel please go subscribe to her if you guys have not already I freaking love her she's an amazing friend of mine and I'll have all her details listed down below but Paige, thank you so much for collaborating with me today. I am so excited and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun. I like doing collabs and I like just, um, I like doing collabs and I like just uh, trying different things out. So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. So I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life where you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful Patreon members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in the very next video bye troll each hours oh my god god ah, i'm so excited so you guys know that i have burned i ah, to kind of like controlling each other we thought we, <laughs> we thought it'd be so fun to pick each other we thought it'd be so fun to pick each other and we thought it'd be so fun to pick each Okay, I love Thrive, don't get me wrong. <sighs> Guys, I love the Maybelline. I love the Ame Go Wild liquid. I